10. Vive la rose. What if vive la rose encore? Oui, ma my la was. Bie ma my la was. Oui, ma my la was. An pa kite la was tombe. Oui, ma my la was. Oui, ma my la was. Oui, ma my la was. An pa kite la was tombe. Oui, ma my la was. Oui, ma my la was. We are my my la was and pack it in la was no be. We are ta bouye mwè. We are shak shak man mwè. We are gita man mwè and pack it in la was no be. We are my my la was. We are my my la was. We are my my la was and pack it in la was no be. Nine. The government of Saint Lucia has received EC 3.1 million dollars in grant funding from the Republic of China on Taiwan to support six bilateral projects. I'm pleased to be here today on behalf of the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, as we are shaping a future that shines brightly for the people of San Lucia. Through delivering funding, which supporting six projects aiming at improving the well-being of, of the citizens. We're going to be receiving grants of $3.172799 million for a range of projects. And again, it speaks to the ethos and the philosophy of the government because these monies are going to be used for social, the development of our social infrastructure and the development of our economic infrastructure and the development of our service providing. Eight. A vibrant array of coconut and cassava-based products took center stage at the Ministry of Agriculture's Coconut and Cassava Festival, drawing participants and enthusiasts from all corners of St. Lucia. The festival showcased the creativity and dedication of local farmers and entrepreneurs, offering a glimpse into the diverse uses of these locally grown products. Among the showcased items at the festival were coconut seamoss icicles, fresh coconuts, cassava and coconut pastries, and coconut liquor, exemplifying the potential of these natural resources. Seven. In its commitment to mitigate the effects of climate change and addressing rising costs within the fishing industry, the Department of Fisheries has initiated the development of a new floating aggregating device in collaboration with the Sufra Fishermen's Cooperative and Fisher Folk. This contributes to the ongoing FAD development program, which aims to maintain 10 strategically positioned FADs around the island, offering essential support to the local fisher folk. The FADs, which are anchored to the sea floor using ropes and buoys, are designed to attract fish by mimicking natural floating objects like logs and plants, increasing both fishing productivity and the quality and quantity of fish caught, benefiting the fishing industry and the local economy. Six. Social protection officers can now better assess social protection support services and create resilient pathways for community residents by leveraging support from the Youth Resilience, Inclusion and Empowerment Program, WIRI. Initiated in 2022 by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, the WIRI aims to enhance community and family support systems for youth at risk by using evidence-based learning methods, referral systems, evaluations, community mapping surveys, mental health and psychosocial support services, and a sustainable social protection system. 5. Drivers of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Urban Affairs, numbering in excess of 40, gathered at Stony Hill for capacity building workshop and was organized to enhance their skill sets and improve service delivery. Four. World Breastfeeding Week runs from August 1st to the 7th. However, for St. Lucia, breastfeeding is important enough to stretch the observance over an entire month. This year's theme is enabling breastfeeding, making a difference for working parents. The idea behind the theme is to foster more support for working nursing mothers, thus improving the progress of breastfeeding rates globally. Expectant mothers of the South and their partners attended a workshop put on by officials from the Viewfort Wellness Center. The session included presentations, demonstrations, and participation by the attendees. Three. The Royal Tunisia Police Force, through a robust and dynamic training program with the full support of the United States Embassy, has embarked on a week-long training course under the heading 
human and drug trafficking interdiction subject matter expert exchange training. Every year, one to two million women, children and men become victims of human trafficking. And they are trafficked for up to 50,000 US dollars per person. Because our folks are here to learn from you just as much as you're here to learn from them. And so we really encourage, like Dr. Seeley was saying, um, this open communication, the open dialogue through the week. Let us know how you do things. We'll let you know how we do things. And then together, we come together with some best practices and maybe some new or revised um, SOPs. Two. Additional moves towards the Upton Gardens Girls Center becoming the leading catalyst for change for adolescent girls in St. Lucia have taken place. On August 8, 2023, staff of the Educational and Behavioral Change Institution met with a wide cross-section of stakeholders for a strategic review of its functioning and operations. Present at the meeting of minds seeking solutions outside of the box were Ministry of Education officials, social workers, St. Lucia Social Development Fund SSDF personnel, youth representatives and others, along with Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment officials under whose jurisdiction the center falls. Resident social worker at the New Beginnings Transit Home. One. Recently, the Department of Environmental Health, via its weekly dengue update, indicated that it was intensifying its mosquito control strategies. This came on the hills of reports out of neighboring Martinique, where a total of 690 cases of dengue fever had been confirmed, in addition to some 3,000 suspected cases. And currently, we are undertaking our fogging operations, which target the adult stage of the mosquito. All of this is an effort to prevent or to reduce the mosquito populations at school and also um, to reduce the risk of the transmission of dengue fever. Fogging involves the use of the insecticide malathion, which targets the Aedes aegypti mosquito at the adult stage. 